I already have it in mind. I, I literally had generated this thought process based off of my experiences as of the past week. Anyway, <laughs> I know. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Generic Logo Nuzlocke. Hopefully, you all having a wonderful day. Obviously, we have Jonas right here. I've got some push-ups that I need to do and sit-ups. Um, hey. Uh, last we checked, it was 24 push-ups. Oh, well, God, that would die. 24 sit-ups <laughs> and 10 push-ups. So, I am going to do that. Jonas is going to go through the totem, and I will be, after I'm done with that, getting to pick a At two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to get started with my push-ups. Because I only have nine push-ups. Oh, we have to get the thing put on. Oh, yeah, to turn on the Oh, thing, wait, yeah. am I... Am I, am I what, what you have direction? a fancy camera. I'm going this direction, right? Yeah, it would make sense. I just wanted to make sure. No, sorry, I, was like, I just want to tell you I hate So baby now Take me in your loving arms Cast me under the light of a thousand God, yes, stars It's hard today <laughs> I'm bad <laughs> God, I think you did, did you just do two? <laughs> Three <laughs> Think it out loud And baby we found love Right where we are. How many am I supposed to be? 24. You oh. get math, John, math. Remember what you said five seconds ago. Yep. Back to the sure. You get that out of my life. Do you have great balls for sale? No, you do not. 14. No, he, he did. He does. Oh, does he actually? Yeah, well, it's my. That's randomized, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I oh, think Jesus, he that's... did. Look at his hand position, look how terrible that was. <laughs> <laughs> I realized how off it was and I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. John is having a problem here, boys. Yeah, that's gonna help you out a lot. My god. I split this up, we're good. Hello, lima bean, get out of my face, dude. Have you ever, uh, Watch uh, Jimmy Neutron. Do an entire circle rotation. Make it even more complicated on me. Why not? John's gonna learn how to break dance in such a small place. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the hardest part about doing these. Because mm -hmm. last time it wasn't hard. I broke ten instantly. But then I'm yeah, like, now when you have a camera on you that shows whether or not you're doing it right, now it's a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, think, I mean, being six six does not help in this situation. <laughs> Yeah. At all. Ooh, it's a Petrad. The Red and Rattata turn into Petrad, though. That'd be funny. It did. Honestly, it did. Just now. Ooh, could you imagine if, if there we go. like, history was changed and Petrat was actually Rattata? I don't think Pokemon would have gotten popular. At all. Like, it would have just been, like... So... Like, I thought you grabbed a... Uh, freaking... <laughs> I thought you were trying to grab the Pop-Tarts that are here. <laughs> You're getting more out of me opening up a goddamn pack. I don't know how you're tearing it, but like, it's bad. Is there a white top to it? Oh, it does. Oh, God. that That's a potential. Oh, this is a totem battle? Wait, what? Or this counts as part of the trial. The this is the trial, run. yeah. The thing running out of the thing comes gives it trial. Yep. Oof, dude. But it only worked for the totem, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm, that's gonna trigger literally everybody. You're literally triggering. Okay, this is better. We got Beldum. Rock Ruff. Wasla. Machop. Trubbish. Shady Penguin. Psychic. Heavy Breathing. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Sableye. Whatever this one is. Wait, is this the rare? No, that's the... That's the reverse. Now and the rare is... Oh! You get to do something! This is a white star? Yeah, I have to lead with my worst mon. Because yeah. this is a white star card. White <laughs> star! My encounter hopefully is good. I know, I have to fight the, uh, the doofuses here. <laughs> okay. So now that I'm done with my push-ups... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I heard that coming out of my mouth and the way it was. I was like, yep, nope, this is okay. John's still suffering. From and it. Uh, so basically, my communications 230 class is all group projects. So I was going to ask you what your thoughts on group project was. Uh, group projects for like school type of deals, mm -hmm. in, in that sense, like where you have to like actually collaborate in order to get something done. It depends on how it's done because a lot of the time, like, you can have a group project that's set up very poorly, or you could also have it set up really well at the same time, like where people actually want to work together. Because a lot of the time, um, there's not enough to do to go around to actually have people work on something to, to make it a group project, you know? Mm -hmm. But if there's actually four different tasks that need to be done, like you, if there's a paper that you can work with people on, and, and then you can work on, like, let's say, uh, each do a paragraph of it, and then you just combine it together, and then some the next the fifth person like makes it all work together well. Then it kind of makes sense, I guess, to have a group project. But usually, group projects are, are dominated by like one or two pe people, and then mm -hmm. it's a it's a problem. Yeah. So uh, the entire class is called small group communications, right? So mm -hmm. in my head, I was like, okay, we're gonna learn how to communicate in small groups. Yeah. But in all reality, <laughs> the class is all group projects so everything you have to do you have to do as a group you don't do it singularly or individually well that, that 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 would make sense though too because then you're ending up having to work with people and figuring out how to work with people regardless yeah no and it makes sense the class structure but it's typically for most degrees it's an elective class it's not an actual required class for most people's degree mm. for mine it's required so while most people are going to be using it as a means to get elective credits, mm. I have to use it as a means of getting required credits. And I'm a little nervous, to be fair, because I just because your your grade is not based off of how you did individually; it's how your group did. Well, yeah, but aren't you like responsible for being a part of the group and like making sure that your group does stuff? But I guess like it's worse for you because your grades required instead of everybody else's right so mm -hmm. like your grade's gonna be tanked just because other people are at the because of you, your own choices but like that means that you would have to like take over more of a, a leadership role or rather to actually get somewhere be, mm -hmm. you know in that so i'm leading with million now i think i go into the actual yeah totem battle now because you would say million's my worst mon right yeah i would say that okay I would agree. Um, so yeah, so no, and I get it, right? And I get the, I, I, I understand why the teacher would do it that way, because it's small group communication. You need to learn how to do stuff in a group. But, I don't know, I had a meme, and I'll probably send it to you so you can pop it up on the screen. But it's basically a meme basically derived upon what you learn from group projects. Mm -hmm. and, I, and it's like, what you learn from group projects, the actual information, which is maybe like a 12% sliver how I how to learn and deal with people which is like a two percent sliver <laughs> and then how much I actually like doing group projects alone which is like 40 some odd percent of it and then how much I actually hate people which is like the other half of the circle <laughs> and it was like I relate to that so much because I can't stand group projects because I can do really well on my own mm -hmm. and I hate having to transfer responsibilities to others if I can do it or, um, the other thing I tend to do is, like, I'm like, how can I, oh, frick, I accidentally used another doll I didn't mean to, um, well, that sucks. But the other thing is, is I like being able to, uh, know what's going on and know how to do things. So I want to learn from the group so I can handle all the responsibilities by myself, which I know is not the greatest thing to do, but... It just well, it, it's is. impossible. It, it's impossible depending on how much work there is. If there's just like so much work that you can't handle it alone, then like you need other people to work on it. Like say you were gonna make like an animation movie or something like mm -hmm. that, you absolutely need other people in order to make your way through that project because you can't actually do everything in the time span that you would have to do it. Yeah. So, um, but honestly, like working with people is just not that difficult to me because. I like I'd prefer to do it myself because I like to actually know what's going on like you said mm -hmm. but at the same time I respect that I can't and so it's just kind of hey I'm gonna do my part and like do it to the best of my ability and like 
Not that I trust the other people to do it, but it's not really my fault, even if my grade tanks because of them not doing it. It's not, like, anything that I could have done in order to fix that, unless I went out of my way of, like, what's required for me. Yeah. Which, I mean, if people are doing group projects together, then, like, they're choosing to do that as an elective, which means they kind of want to work with other people. That would be the hope, right? Yeah. Instead of just a bunch of people that are slacking off, because if you have a bunch of social people that actually want to do something, and I don't see any problem with them actually completing their tasks that they're assigned to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is kind of nice to, to have the ability to look into all of the, the things uh, yourself in order to actually get to the point where you could self-sustain. But then again, it has to be something that you're really interested in, or otherwise it just feels like torture. Yeah, and I'm worried about that class. Because if I get, I, like, knowing me, I'm going to get a bad group that doesn't want to do anything. No, you'll have different groups, I'm sure. No, it's the same group the entire way through. Then that, I read that, the syllabus. That's very stupid. I agree. I thought it was stupid, too. Which is Because, why like, how are you supposed to learn how to work with people if you only work with, like, very... Four people. Four, like, four people. Yeah, it's not. That's That doesn't work. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't mean to kill my favorite one. That doesn't work. Yeah, so I thought it didn't work either. I thought it was dumb. But I thought that, you know, maybe it could be okay, and then I realized, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, let me it led me down a weird path, because it was like, hmm, Thanos. I know, random, random-ass path, but... Um, so I was thinking about Thanos' ability, right? And Thanos' ability is after he gets all the stones, yada, yada, yada. I mean, I'm sure you know, right? Like, yeah... So I was thinking to myself, if I had Thanos' ability just snap and half the people would die, would I do it? And I'm like, I actually spent a long time thinking about this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I could, if I had Thanos' power where I couldn't control the effects of the action, then no, I probably wouldn't. Because I can't control who dies. And like well there's no point if i can't control it um but it does make the action objectively worse if you're able to control it so it's a weird kind of thought process because you're actively killing them instead of passively killing them so <laughs> yeah i mean i i don't think that i would do anything because like honestly at the point of your it, it averages out regardless whether or not humans choose to do it the way that, that that we're going right like it gets to the point where the earth can't sustain so many people and then everybody else ever, like 99 percent of people die off or 95 percent of people die off that are mm -hmm. on the entire world or like an apocalypse happens or something and then we rebuild mm -hmm. if you look at that sort of situation in like rat rat paradise or whatever because uh there's there's been experiments done on that sort of thing where you have infinite food but finite space mm-hmm and uh, and you're just allowed to you know, breed or do whatever that that ends up happening is there eventually becomes an equilibrium of uh, how much people like or how, how what the population is of, of rats um, uh, of course there's a lot of shit that has to go down in order to before that happens and a lot of generations and things but yeah it does eventually even out to uh, a point where it's just sustained naturally, and at that point, that's what would happen to people, I would assume, right? Right. Or, like, really anything on the... The, the only problem is, is that once that happens, once it's kind of hard to, uh... Like, you, you can't recover all of the other things that would die, really, because, like, how many animals would go extinct because of people already, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and things that we've done, and how many ecosystems we've destroyed, and along those lines, you can't really recover any of that stuff, but, I mean, if you're, if you're thinking in the span of millions and millions of years, eventually, yeah, it'll be like that. Mm -hmm. Where it'll, they'll, those, well, won't, like, recover what, what used to be, but will develop on what we have now, and evolution will happen, and then we'll have spread different, uh, different things, so I don't see a point in trying to snap, because that doesn't, that doesn't actually hit the limit initially. Mm -hmm. uh, unless it was, like, you you have to hit this limit and then it, and then there's a snap, yeah. like because it that doesn't make sense because it's like oh no you can't go over this limit of population or everybody dies it's like okay well let's just not go over that population limit like I'm, I'm sure people yeah. are like smart enough to like get the population right because it's far easier to because what's the point in killing people right like yeah that, that's the deal like what is the point of killing people what you would kill people for would be like 
uh, to to limit the the population in like the most absolute uh, so the shortest amount of time and like in the most unnatural but like what what would you do like it's only like an 80 year difference right if you just said hey guys w there's a new law now where you can only have one uh 2.1 kids or whatever like you'll randomly be selected by the government in order to like have that extra kid like if if you so choose obviously mm -hmm. people people are not gonna uh opt into like being forced to have kids or something like that and in that case you'd have other people that are definitely willing to have more kids <laughs> yep right and uh and so in that situation uh you would just end up having after an like one generation of that half the people would be gone because there would just be like there's not a a enough sustained you know, population growth. Like, you're li just limiting the population growth and letting people die naturally. Yeah. Which is just totally fine. I mean, I if you're thinking about killing off everybody in one foul swoop, like, I don't see a point in doing that. Because it just, it's gonna happen if, uh, if you had the ability to, like, make it happen like that and it wasn't... Like, the whole point of what Thanos is doing, right, mm -hmm. is it's, like, all pure logic. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's, like, the stupidest way of implementing that logic. Yeah. So... Uh, because they have to make him a villain somehow, because his, his actual ideas are correct. Like, mm -hmm. if, if you limit the population, there's more to go around, and there's more people. You'd rather have, like, uh... Limiting the ability to have people exist, but, like... Okay, so, like, say if there was two, two realities, okay, and, like, yeah. two parallel universes. And in one, one universe, you allow them to have another kid, and they get, like... Uh, or you have three kids instead of two kids. The other one, you know, they have two kids. It's not like you're killing one of the kids. No. It, it, because it's just, they were never born in the first place. So, like, you, you can't really put a limit on, on people being, uh, like, you can't say it's killing people or, or anything like that from that perspective, I don't think. Right. So, in that sense, it would be just it wouldn't be a vil you wouldn't be a villain mm -hmm. if you just waited for everybody else to die out and that's what the whole moral thing is and that's why they and and to be honest the whole characters of like marvel or whatever like the the avengers i guess you would say yeah. the avengers those guys they aren't really thinking that far ahead because yeah okay we're going to get everybody back but like the problem is still there that thanos is saying yeah you're still going to have it hit the limit and then people are going to die off anyways and probably a more uh, gruesome, gruesome, like, yeah, a, a more torturous manner. They're going to suffer a lot more, yeah, by by having something happen because of uh, it's just absolutely unsustainable, rather than because uh, because you just limited it ahead of time. So I feel like the Avengers are actually wrong in that sense of like, hey, we're gonna end up putting in this limit beforehand. Yeah, uh, like, well, why why would you just like, why would you do it the way that you did it? It just doesn't make any sense. No, and I agree, right? So like. I would probably think about the limit, I mean, prob more than likely before the Thanos situation, but if you had the power to do it, like, you would use it only in dire need. Well, uh, nobody, nobody would, you would, when would you ever need to do that unless it was like, because how much is your life worth? Like, even if you were in danger. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do? Kill half of everybody and hope that the people that are attacking you all die and you don't? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, mm -hmm. you're, just, you're just gonna kill off half of the universe because your life is more more important than anybody else's. Like, right, and I think that's like the crucial struggle yeah. that they're trying to get at. But also, it doesn't make sense because Thanos doesn't care if he lives or dies. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't care because he, he knows what's right is what's right. But, yeah. like, Granted, he could have done it in a way that wasn't super fucking stupid, but uh, <laughs> yeah. But his, his idea is valid, like his logic, and mm -hmm. it, for for cutting out that amount of people, you know, it, uh, as long as there's actual rules implemented that prevent it from you know getting past a certain point after that, yeah. Because otherwise, then it's just gonna have the same problem as before. Yeah, like, <laughs> well, thousands upon yeah. millions of years later. Well, no, not even like you think about like how fast the population grew, like. After the, um, after uh, the the industrial revolution, right? And then even after that, you could say like, well, um, the 
uh, think about like uh, baby boomers, right? Yeah. Like when, when there's gonna be a whole bunch of death and stuff, people are just gonna be like, oh yeah, well we gotta repopulate the planet. Half of everybody died, and so they're gonna like increase the population of uh, of baby reports around the world, probably like two or three fold, because everybody's <laughs> trying to like repopulate the world because everybody died, and that's like how many things that they need to actually have because. Then, then when you when you kill everybody, there's just a whole bunch of wasted wealth. Yeah. Because there's not enough there's not enough people to sustain the amount of things that are going on, right? Like, the 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 amount of stuff that we have and the things that we do are all equalized to the amount of people that we have right now. So if we kill half of everybody, like, either everywhere is going to run at half capacity, when and like 95 percent of stuff won't get done that way, mm -hmm. or like you're just going to straight up abandon a bunch of buildings and only use half of what you need because you don't need to like make any of the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So like you're just wasting all of this infrastructure and everything, and it's just going to be wasted away into nothingness. And then and then when you need it again, all of the money that was in invested in that and the maintenance of that, it's, it's, just like, gone. it's, it's, it's yeah. all gone. Yeah, there's nothing. It's all just wasted for naught. Yeah. So I don't. Know. I don't know. I don't. It's just an interesting thought process because yeah, the you think about the extra effects but in the moment a person's gonna be like not thinking about those extra effects mm -hmm. until they realize oh i really fucked up <laughs> like i really met done done did mess up because well yeah because if you're in immediate danger you, you're gonna use it but it's yeah well, I, mean, I don't think that you would ever do that like i mean there's people that would but there's they're really stupid like yeah. you know like what are you what are you trying to accomplish at that point it's true yeah. Um, actually, this episode goes up on April 7th or 9th? I don't know. 7th, 7th or 9th. Two 7th completely 9th. different days. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's not 7th anyway. or 8th, it's just 7th or 9th. Just, there's, yeah. there's only two possibilities. Uh, the 8th, of course. <laughs> it's the one day I skipped. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It goes up on the 7th or 9th. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> everybody looks at the date that it was uploaded, like everybody checks the date during that time of the video. Oh, oh while well, you're dumb. <laughs> while well, you're dumb, it was actually the 8th. Um, but yeah, so in two weeks from now, I'm going to be watching a massive house, and... Oh, oh fuck. Oh, 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 at least it was a bundle bee. Oh, 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 if it wasn't I dumb. hate innards out, dude. Innards out is like the dumbest, or like the dumbest ability ever, like, in a randomized game. In a non-randomized game, yeah. it's totally fine. But in a randomized game, when you don't know what has it, like if a chancy has innards out, it's auto death. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you run into a chancy, oh, what mod am I gonna lose? Well, like, crap. Yeah, I mean you'd have to try to get it down a lot. <laughs> yeah, and even then, it's got a lot of HP assist. Yeah, that's a oof. But now, what even normally has innards out? It's uh. Puka -puka. Oh, that thingy. Uh, Pukamuku! Yeah. That, it's that thingy. thingy. Pukamuku's, uh, right here, actually. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> yeah. Oh! It's like. This card! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John tried to get a dreadnought on, uh, on the online TCG. And, and then it didn't help me yeah, at all. But I have like a million of them in real life. Yeah. Imagine if he could scan the cards you had in real life. Uh, yeah, th there would be no way of regulating that, because how would they know it's your picture or just not an online picture that somebody just took a picture oh. of their own card? Okay, you're right. Yeah, that's <laughs> because a really there's dumb idea. Nothing, <laughs> there's nothing preventing people from doing that. Yeah, and just getting infinite cards that way. Like, they would have to scan, like, for... Yeah, it would be like... YouTube's copyright thing is trying to figure out knowing whether or not like your car is legit or whether or not it's just like an altered picture But like it's literally it's a picture speaking, of the same fucking thing over and of, over again Speaking of YouTube's copyright thing Every okay, so in during month block, I know we're talking about month block again. Oh my god, but during month block, we use a YouTube certified from YouTube playlist of songs. Oh, yeah, right every <laughs> day i swear like every maybe once once i say every day and I'm, I'm 
back backpedaling like once twice a week i get a notification and it's like oh this this uh from this stream of month vlog um uh, yeah that's copyright now i'm like blah, blah, blah. yeah it gets copyrighted and then it gets taken off and then it gets copyrighted again and then it gets taken off and yeah yeah it happens so all the time and i get so annoyed because i'm like oh god what did i break the copyright thing from and it's like i don't remember mm, breaking nope, the copyright it's not and it's like nope you didn't break the copyright youtube is just saying that what you used on their thing is copyright <laughs> That's so annoying. It makes me upset. Yeah, they they give you a, a a playlist that allows you to actually like use this music without having it, and it's certified by YouTube because it is actually like maintained by YouTube so that you can have songs. And if you go to a playlist that they have and you play it, then like half the not half the songs, like maybe a quarter, a, a quarter of the songs are gonna trigger a thing which says it's copyrighted. And it's so dumb because the whole point of using it was that music in the background for everybody. Yeah, like they should whitelist all of those songs, right? But they yeah. just don't. They're just like... Yeah. All, uh, yeah, they're just a bunch of them that he keeps having to redo. And I think that might be in part due to like YouTube actually... Like the maybe the person's licensing or trying to license the song or something like that, but like, yeah. they can't because it's already on the... They already said it was one way or another thing, or yeah, you know something like that. It might be the case. It could be. It just is funny. Oh, it's hoo hoo. That thing literally gave me monetization. That's the whole joke with that thing. Oof. That <laughs> literally though, we actually checked the analytics, and that hoo hoo video oh, got me a hundred and fifty subscribers. That one video it gave me yeah. the the difference between Jonas and I's subscriber count. <laughs> yeah, it's like who who does just so stupid uh, like you're you're i mean it makes sense that it would go viral or whatever but not like after the fact of, of it not like it literally was 100 percent irrelevant at the time that it yeah. was actually viewed like but when it was uploaded it was totally relevant because it wasn't even announced in the game like there was no update for telling people that who who was a thing yeah. There, it was, or not who, who freaking Ditto was a oh, thing. I messed up. Crap. I skipped a step. No. So, uh, yeah, there was no update telling us that Ditto was in the game. It was just, it just happened to be there. Yeah, and that's and, when I uploaded it. Yeah, and that's when he uploaded it was, he was like, wow, there's this cool hoot, the, the ditto out of a hoot hoot. Like, what the heck? I've never seen this before. Yeah. So it was relevant then, but now, and then it got views like two years later after it had already, ditto had already been in the game for the last yeah. forever. Yeah, and I think it was literally directly correlated to freaking month lock. And I don't yeah. know why, because... My, my uploads after month lock, the initial uploads after month lock did like twice or three times as good as my normal stuff. And then like, it just fell off after that. Yeah. And YouTube really liked month lock. It, like, it, it didn't seem like it. Yeah. But YouTube really liked month lock and they actually um, promoted the heck out of it. Like, and it was trending up every day, even though like, yeah. for us, for us doing it, it was not trending up every day. Yeah. Because it was just, uh, it was like the most painful, torturous thing ever in the history of ever. <laughs> but it actually was, and it's like weird to look back on it, right? Um, actually, speaking of looking back on Monthlog, I don't know if we talked about this yet, mm -hmm. but in June, we want to look back on some of the kind of fun things to do with Monthlog because it was, it was like one year anniversary of Monthlog. Oh, yeah. Um, it's something we've been talking about doing. I'm not going to guarantee it or say, guys, it's going to happen because if I say that, then it's going to happen right. and I don't want to, you know, just force us to do something just because I said it. So, um, it's something that we've been thinking about doing, just looking back and kind of seeing the fun moments of Monthlog. I looked back at the moment when Ryan popped into the stream and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even turn off the voice mod thing. Because you had been like, yeah. bruh, the voice mod's still on. I'm like, wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that was, was a big event for Monthlog. Well, like for that... you, because he talks to you now and actually hangs out with you. He doesn't, he doesn't even acknowledge I exist, basically. Uh, but it just was kind of a... Well, you also took like, a big break, though, too. Uh, didn't you? No, I'll. I started uploading videos, and I uploaded videos every day for an entire month, and then that didn't go anywhere. And like, it actually was trending down terribly, so I stopped doing it. Ah. 
that was the deal. But yeah, I know that 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 was a big event in my channel to like have that happen, and I just it just I don't know it just was a thing and it happened and I was like whoa what's happening? Um, and of course it was funny because the when it happened what the frick, am I supposed to go down? Nope, I'm not. Oh no, I'm lost. This is bad. I hate being first in a versus. No, <laughs> this is the problem with being first in a versus. This is like. If you're ahead and you know the game, that's great. I know the game for the most part, but I just got apparently completely forgot this section existed. But, yeah, so, anyway, going on to the topic that I was going on, uh, it's cool to, like, be able to talk, because at that time I was just getting into Ryan's stuff. Well, I should say just getting into it. I say just getting into it even though it's been, like, eight months, probably. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, so set eight months. So, it made sense for me to be all giddy, but it was like weird because I was still new to that community. Mm -hmm. um, and it just is, it was like I said, it was a cool thing to do month vlog and it helped me out a ton. Uh, it got, it single handedly got me monetization. Like, well, the Hoo Hoo video too, but. That helped a lot too, because in the month of June and July, I gained 300 and some odd subscribers. Like without that, it would have been nothing. I... Yeah, exactly. Like the we did month lock and it, we we got stuff from it, but it it was kind of a goof. Yeah, it it like at, in the end result, it was an, uh, it was a pretty big goof. Like, yeah. uh, would I do it again if I had the choice to? Probably not. Um, and what I mean, like, like if I go well, back, wait, wait, it, it would need to be, uh, like we said, a, a lot of a lot of compensation for it. Yeah. Or um, it would need to be in a format that was different, or it would need to be like an actual big thing where it would actually benefit us because essentially you could compare month lock to the subathon yeah by ludwig and uh yeah that worked a lot better for him than it did for us Ooh, uh, <laughs> he's already popular and so it mattered yeah. because people gave him buddy because it matters because he's cool oh i accidentally taught over a move i didn't want to teach over oh i think i taught over the right move Oh, I have to go through all the stupid lessons. You get to go through this too, so it's fine. Yeah, well, we're ending after uh, you finish all this stuff. The man time surfing? Yeah. Because we are 40 minutes in right now. Oh, Jesus. But they, the main complaint is how, and how, how is the most annoying rival in generate in the Pokemon universe. And I'm like, yep, I agree. Because how picks up your your weak poke 